everyone, what is going on? Joe Marin here for Mobile Cup of Joe, and in today's episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, I'm going to be giving you, you guys my full review of the LG Marquee on Tang service, but before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down, and take a swig from your Mobile Cup of Joe. Alright, so to kickstart this review of the LG Marquee, we're going to be talking about the design. So the LG Marquee is very sleek and sexy, even by today's smartphone standards. The LG Marquee is 4.8 inches long, 2.5 inches wide, and 0.36 inches deep, and it weighs in at only 3.95 ounces. And like I said, even by today's smartphone standards, that's still very sleek and very light. You can see right there, it's not thin at all, no matter what angle you're looking at it. It looks really great. Sure, it's just a normal black smartphone design, but it actually looks pretty good. On the front of the device, we've got our 4-inch Nova display with an 800 by 480 WVGA resolution. Top of the device, we have got a 2 megapixel front facing camera, and it says Boost Mobile. This is, in fact, running on Ting, though. They're LG marquees they just purchased from Boost Mobile because Ting and Boost Mobile phones run on Sprint services. I'm just pointing it out because I know that this will aggravate a few people. They've, a few people have complained on Ting's forums about this logo. Um, when I got the device and when other people got the device, there was a piece of black tape covering the Boost Mobile logo. I really don't care about this, though. I don't care what logos are on my phone. So just thought I would point that out because I do know that is going to affect some people and their decision of whether or not they do purchase this phone. But going below the screen, we've got our old school Android uh, capacitive touch buttons, your home button, obviously. So next to that, we've got the settings, the back button, and the search button. Going to the left of the device. We've got our volume rockers, and below that right here, we actually have a dedicated camera button, which is nice to see on Android phones. We don't really see that a whole lot nowadays. On the right of the device, we have absolutely nothing. On the bottom, we just have a fingernail slot right here to take the back off of the marquee. And on the top, we've got a power slash lock button, and then our micro USB syncing slash charging port, and then our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Back of the device, we've got our LG logo right here. And on... Uh, the other side of the back of the device, we've got our 5 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash. Overall, I really like the design of the LG Marquee. Like I said, even by today's standards, it still looks like one of the newer smartphones and it feels very light. All my friends that have picked it up just actually could not believe how light it was. It really doesn't feel like there's anything to this device, but keep that in mind though. Uh, some of you may want a little weight to your device, but this really feels like, oh, there's nothing to it. You can put this in your pocket and you can honestly forget it is even there. But going next on the review, we have got build quality. So overall, the build I was very impressed with the build quality of the LG Marquee. If you look on the sides, you may see some little dents. I don't know if you can see them with my autofocus going crazy right now. Um, on that side too, you might be able to see them. And on the back, uh, you should be able to see some little scratches like right there and there. Now this is all because I got the device refurbished, so I don't know how the previous owner got this phone. Keep in mind that the LG Marquee is only available as a refurbished model through Ting, but I have dropped the device a couple of times, and I could not notice any additional scratches or bumps aside from the ones that already came with. So I gotta give the build quality a big thumbs up because I really was impressed with it overall. Going next to the review, we're going to be talking about hardware. So inside the LG Marquee, we've got a 1 gigahertz single core processor with 512 megabytes of RAM. Now this is definitely, definitely pretty slow uh, compared to today's smartphones and even some that have come out within the past few months. Uh, I'll show you right now just what I mean. Get Launcher 7 off of there. Alright, so we got Launcher 7 off of our screen and you can see that when sl you slide through different home screens it is pretty laggy. We can go to our applications, and we can slide through them, but you can just see how laggy this SOB is. Um, you just go into the home screen again, sliding through. It's really uh, not great at all. Let's go to our gallery and see how long it takes. Taking a long time. Load new albums and photos. So we're still waiting for the gallery application to open. As you can see, it's definitely, definitely a pretty slow. It's still a fully functioning, though. Don't get me wrong about that. It still functions perfectly. But if you're going to try to run heavy games on here, or, or graphic-intensive apps or games, this is definitely not the phone for you. While it is, like I said, completely functional, uh, still, 1 gigahertz single-core processor and 512 megabytes of RAM is definitely, definitely extremely slow by today's standards. Now, we tested Angry Birds 
on this phone, not this specific model. I'm reviewing. We have another uh, model of this device, and we tried running Angry Birds on that, and it ran uh, pretty good. It ran good, but you can definitely get some better speeds on newer devices. So just showing you again the lagginess of this device. Perfectly fine for uh, making phone calls or texting, light web browsing or light apps and games, but definitely don't try anything graphic intensive such as Dead Trigger or Nova or Modern Combat. It's really not going to be able to run things like that. So going on to the software of the LG Marquee, uh, we had kind of said it's a point that this is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. We'll go to the setting just to confirm that real quick. And uh, while we're trying to get to the settings to confirm what version of Gingerbread this is, Gingerbread is not a terrible version of Android, but it is over a year old now. You can see there, 2.3.4 Gingerbread. It's over a year old, and with versions of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean already out, and this sucker is still running G um, Gingerbread, it really does feel very old and very, very outdated, and it really is. Again, this is perfectly fine if you're just calling or texting or light web browsing, but anything aside from that, it's really uh, going to be a tough call to make. 2.3 Gingerbread is a very capable operating system and version of the Android OS, but is definitely, definitely lacking in features, security, and just the overall uh, user experience you get when you compare 2.3 to other versions of phones already out there. Even a 4.0 ice cream sandwich is just a huge improvement over uh, Gingerbread. But, again, it depends on what you're going to use this phone for. If you're just going to use it for calling, texting, light web browsing, light app use, it'll be perfectly fine for you. But going on next for the review, we are going to be looking at the cameras of the LG Marquee. So, on the back of the device, we've got a 5-megapixel LED camera with flash on the front of the device. We've got a 2-megapixel front-facing camera with no flash. Uh, the pictures on here looked decent. Uh... They didn't really wow us at all. They look uh, kind of below average or average for smartphone cameras today. 5 megapixels on the back with the flash is pretty good. And 2 megapixels on the front is, for a front-facing camera, is actually pretty decent. Uh, for the front-facing camera, if you're just going to be taking self-portraits or doing some uh, Google Plus handouts or whatever, it should fit your needs just fine. And the back will be fine if you need to snap a quick picture or something when you don't have a better camera with you. So going on next in the review, we've got call quality. So call quality for the LG Mark is actually pretty great. Uh, everyone we talked to said that they could hear us just fine. We could hear them pretty great. Sprint service in our area where, we, where I'm stationed at in Lawrence, Michigan. We don't have the best coverage with Sprint service, but uh, we can still hear people just fine. They could hear us, and we really did not have any issues with the call quality when we had good service with the marquee. So going on next to the review, we have got the value of the marquee. So right now, the LG Marquee, keep in mind it is refurbished, is selling on Teen's website for only 87 bucks. Now, this is basically an unlocked phone because you're not signing a contract or anything when you do purchase this phone. I mean, really, if you wanted to, for 87 bucks, just buy it and use it kind of as just an Android player. If you need something to store music on or access Google Play on the go, this is a, this is a perfectly capable device. And we have bashed it kind of a lot for its slow processor and outdated version of Android. But for $87, you really cannot go wrong. If you need a little Android device, uh, have a phone, you want a phone that will perform above average um, than a current basic phone, it's a really great choice. So for $87, it's a killer, killer steal, and you're almost getting it for free when you consider $87, no contract. But going on next to the final part of the review, we have got our final verdict of the device. So, like I said, we did bash the LG Marquee quite a bit for the slow processors and outdated version of Android. But at the end of the day, it's still a great phone. Um, I Granted, I use Launcher 7 for my daily launcher on the LG Marquee, but it performs just fine. I can text, text texting is a breeze, Call, calling is fast and easy, uh, web browsing is actually uh, pretty good considering the low processing speeds, and light apps and light games ran fine on the LG Marquee. Uh, really, like I said, like for 87 bucks, I can't stress this enough, for $87, this is a killer, killer price for the Marquee. You get a 4-inch Android screen, 2.3 gingerbread, and a 1 gigahertz single-core processor with a 5-megapixel LED camera and a front-facing camera for that. For $87, this is a really, really tough deal to beat and is really one of the best Android phones on Ting service you can get 
for the price point for under a hundred dollars so with that all in mind we're giving the lg marquee a 7 out of 10 which is a good score so our description of a 7 out of 10 is devices that score 7 out of 10 are good choices for a lot of people they usually lack a lot of today's newest features and they're definitely not for everyone but if you find the right person they're sure to welcome it with warm and open arms and that's true for the lg marquee that is perfectly true uh, if you find someone that just wants to have a good phone no contract under 100 bucks android running on the device good for making calls and text and web browsing this is a really a pretty great choice so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like the video please go ahead hit the like button if you liked it takes one second to do so it really helps support the show and if you want to show your support towards the show even more go ahead hit the subscribe button right there for more mobile cup of joe videos and you guys know we are on youtube facebook twitter and don't forget to check out our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for your latest and mobile tech news outside of our videos and before we go one thing to let you know in the description below this video down there we will be putting a link in there so if you decide you want to purchase the lg marquee or another phone on ting service we got a link down there if you click on that link it will redirect you to Teen's website, and you'll get a $25 credit for your first device you purchase. And you also help support the Mobile Cup of Joe show. So if you do want to purchase this phone or going to purchase another phone on Ting, make sure to click that link in the description below the video to get a $25 credit and to help support your favorite mobile tech show. But guys, that's all we have for today's episode. This is, Mo this is Joe Marin signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.